Guys, calcium is the most important thing in your bird's body. Yes, literally calcium is the most important thing for them. Because without calcium, they have they can have several kinds of problems, several kinds of diseases. Almost 80% diseases occurs due to lack of cal calcium in your birds. Whether it can be anywhere, in especially budgies, lovebirds, cocktail, or finches, it can be any bird, any bird you keep in your house, they must get sufficient calcium. If they don't get sufficient calcium, they are in a grave danger. So what kind of diseases can cause from lack of calcium and how can you cure that? How can you give them proper calcium and how? what is those food items that gives them a very good amount of calcium? All of those things I will be telling in this video. So watch this video completely. And if you like our video, please hit the like button and share our videos and also subscribe our channel because we make different kinds of videos on several kinds of diseases and their cures of your birds. So please subscribe your channel, it will help you in various ways. Guys, I am Twin Biswas and you are watching Happy Birds to you. Let's start today's video. So guys, let's talk about today's video's main topic. Guys, there are several kinds of diseases due, that can happen to your birds due to lack of calcium. But I am going to tell you three most important three most dangerous diseases of all of them and if those any of those things happen to your birds your birds can die and if they don't die they can get hurt they can have several kinds of problem so you may have to make sure that your birds get sufficient calcium the first thing i should mention that you all know the very common thing is calcium is very important for our for our bones for every animal's bones every bird's bones but birds are quite different okay because bo in our case if we talk about humans our bone is not completely hollow okay there are bone marrow inside our bones but in birds there are there is no bone marrow there is air pockets and the maximum amount of air are stored inside their bones that makes their body lightweight so they can fly easily so their their body their bones are actually quite not hard to break so if they don't have sufficient calcium in their body their bones started to get weakened every moment every day so if they somehow fall from a tree branch or fall from the stick in your cage or gets hurt uh, from any fight or they get hit uh, on the cage wall they can actually break their bones okay and if the if they have don't have sufficient calcium in their body that damage bone that damage bone will never get get right just like before okay so that will be a permanent damage and that is not good for your birds the second most dangerous thing is uh, if your birds don't have sufficient calcium in their body their eggs become weak okay the shell of their eggs becomes uh, thinner than the regular or that that should be the usual uh, thickness is will not be there it will be much thin okay so because egg shells are pure calcium and that becomes uh, that shell is uh, cre is being created inside their body through the stored calcium the calcium which are stored inside their body the birds using that stored calcium to make that egg so if they don't have sufficient calcium in their body so how will they make how will they produce the exact the good amount of calcium the good amount of eggs so that the eggs will be damaged in several ways if the layer is thin the eggshell layer is thin the eggs will be infertile and you will not get chicks from them now the third most important or dangerous thing that happens due to lack of calcium is sometimes bird if after laying eggs when they feel that they don't have sufficient calcium in their body they start to eat their own eggs yes that happens they start to eat their own eggs not only the eggshells but also the yolk so if you find sometimes that you have seen uh, your bird has laid five eggs and next day you see there are four eggs the next day you see there are three eggs you will understand that they have not much calcium in their body so they are actually eating their own birds but this sometimes don't not the case for finches this thing happens generally for the 
bigger birds like uh, budgies, lovebirds or cocktail. If your finches are doing this, if you see these things on finches, then that is some uh, uh, another thing. I will discuss that thing in the in another video. Okay, but for budgies mainly or cocktail or lovebirds, this is the prime main thing. They start to eat their own eggs because they don't have calcium in their body and they try to make up that calcium by eating their own eggs. Now, what are the best sources for calcium that you can provide and they can eat? So, the best calcium source are cattle fish bone. So, the cattle fish bone is very important for your birds. You should always provide, you should always keep at least one cattle fish bone in their cage, in their, in their setup so that they can have it whenever they want. Okay, so that's the first thing. That is something you must, you must keep inside your cage. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing you can keep is calcium block. If you can't find cattle fish bone, you can find cattle, uh, you can find calcium block. That is also enriched with calcium. You can also keep that in your bird's cage and your birds will eat it whenever they feel like it. Okay, and another thing that you can give is egg food. The eggs, if you, if you are boiling your egg, then don't throw those egg shells, okay? Keep those eggshells, make him powdered, okay? Grind it on your grinder machine and make him completely like powder and provide those grinded eggshells with the boiled egg and mix them well. You can provide that mixture to your birds. They will eat it so nicely and it is completely calcium rich food. So it is very nice for them. It is completely calcium rich. Those all three things I have mentioned, these are completely calcium rich food. Another thing that is very calcium rich that is drumstick leaves. There is a plant that calls drumsticks. Okay, and if you take, if you find the plant, take few of those leaves. Okay, you can provide these leaves once or twice a week. That is sufficient. These these plants have lots of amount of calcium, and you can actually provide them. And birds love to eat those plants. So you, if you find that tree, if you get those leaves, please use it. Now guys, if your birds are sick, they are not feeling well, so what should you do? What are the actually symptoms? How will you actually understand if your birds are sick or if they got fever or not? What are the symptoms and what are the treatment? All of those are discussed in this video. So watch this video and if you want to know about more about heat stroke, what is this and how it can kill your birds, watch this video.